Transforming your Steam Deck into a full-fledged gaming console isn't just a pipe dream, it's totally doable, and I'm here to walk you through each step. No, it doesn't matter if you're a tech newbie or a seasoned gadgeteer, this guide is here to help you get your Steam Deck up and running on your TV for that big screen experience. So let's get straight into it. Step one is to set up the right equipment. To kick things off, you'll need a few things to get your Steam Deck connected to your TV. First up, a Steam Deck dock or a USB-C to HDMI adapter is essential since the Steam Deck itself doesn't have an HDMI port. I personally recommend a dedicated Steam Deck dock because it usually comes with additional ports that are super handy for connecting other devices like controllers or USB drives. The Basia 6-in-1 dock has been my go-to because it not only lets me plug in the HDMI, but also folds flat for a neat and tidy setup. An HDMI cable, 2.0 or better, is your next must-have. This is what sends the video signal from your Steam Deck to your TV. And trust me, you don't want to skimp on quality here. A poor quality HDMI cable can really degrade your gaming experience with lag or visual issues. Lastly, you'll need a good USB-C charger that supports at least 45 watt to keep your Steam Deck powered during intense gaming sessions. If your dock supports it, make sure it has a power delivery port to plug your charger in. This setup has saved my gaming nights more than once, ensuring that I don't run out of juice right in the middle of a boss fight. Step two is connecting your Steam Deck to your TV. Now let's get everything connected. Start by plugging one end of your HDMI cable into a free HDMI port on your TV and the other end into your dock. Then place your Steam Deck into the dock's cradle and connect the dock's built-in USB-C cable to the Steam Deck's port. Don't forget to plug in your charger to the dock's power delivery port. This setup allows you to play without draining the battery, absolutely crucial for longer gaming sessions. Turning everything on might seem straightforward, but there's always that moment of suspense when you switch the TV to the correct HDMI input. Will it show up on the first try? Thankfully, most of the time it does, and seeing the SteamOS interface pop up on a big screen is always a thrill. There's something so satisfying about using a device meant for handheld gaming on a much larger display. In step three, we have to adjust the Steam Deck TV settings. Once everything is connected and powered on, you'll likely need to tweak a few settings to optimize the display. The Steam Deck is primarily designed for an 800p display, so pushing it to output at 1080p on your TV is usually the sweet spot. It can handle 4K, but from my experience, this can lead to slower performance and the system heating up more than you'd want. Navigating to the right setting is pretty straightforward. Just head into a game from your library, press the pause button, and select properties from the menu. Under General, you'll find the Resolution drop-down. This is where you can choose what works best for your TV and game. I've found that some older games or less demanding indies can actually run quite well at higher settings, but for the most part, sticking to 1080p ensures a smooth, enjoyable gaming experience. Lastly, connect accessories for an enhanced experience. Finally, to truly turn your Steam Deck into a console experience, you'll want to connect some accessories. If you're using a dock with extra USB ports, plugging in a gaming headset or a more traditional game controller can really enhance the experience. I prefer wireless controllers for this setup because I can lounge on the couch without worrying about pulling the whole system down if I get a little too into the game. Connecting these accessories has always been a breeze. Just plug and play, really. It makes the Steam Deck feel less like a portable PC and more like a traditional console, which is great for when I want to relax and dive into a game without worrying about battery life or screen size. Turning your Steam Deck into a console is like getting the best of both worlds, portable when you want it and a big screen powerhouse when you need it. By following these steps, you'll be ready to game in style, whether you're looking to conquer new worlds from your couch or need to grab your deck and go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.